Hey guys. So today we're going to be talking about nasturtiums. Okay, nasturtiums are these really pretty, beautiful, um, you know, orange flowers with this yellow interior. Uh, and the beautiful part about nasturtiums is that not only do they look good, they taste great. Okay. If there's any bugs, I just want to make sure they're out of there. It's a little ant. They taste great, very peppery flavor, so it's a great addition to any salad. Mm. Amazing. In addition, what they do is that they attract a lot of the bugs. So they attract aphids, they attract fungus gnats, and all those insects go to them instead of going to the crop that you would really like to be growing, right? So you can basically make sure that your cucumbers, your tomatoes, and the rest of them are safe or free from aphids and gnats or really reduce their numbers just by planting nasturtiums next to them. And the best thing to have insect protection for life for free is to look out for these little amazing green balls. Okay, let's find you little green balls. Oh, there you are. Okay, there's one. There's another. Okay, and so what you want the, to happen here is that these will actually naturally fall into the earth by themselves okay but these are the seeds of the nasturtium okay and so when they grow big enough okay and they're very easily fall off that's the time you want to collect them you want to put them on a uh, piece of paper okay make sure they dry out until they turn brown and then you store them in an airtight container in a fridge or in a cool dark place um, and then you can plant them next season if you're planting in the Middle East in the Gulf the best time to plant nasturtiums is um, in the winter okay towards the winter so I would say you can even start in October and if you're planting uh, and you can start from seed okay or you can plant uh, you can do transplants or you can start indoors and then transplant outdoors uh, if you're doing it in the in the Levant okay so Lebanon Jordan um, Tunisia many parts of North Africa Palestine then you can do them pretty much all year round but they don't like the excess heat okay so just keep that in mind um, and that's the wondrous beautiful plant of nasturtiums okay keep your bugs keep the bugs away and they are these beautiful seeds that you can save and that you can have for life. So I'm gonna pick a I'm gonna pick a nice ripe one so you have an idea of what that will uh, look like. Okay, guys. This one sort of fell by itself. That's a nasturtium seed. Okay, and that you're just gonna piece put on a piece of paper, let it dry out. It's gonna turn brown, and then you store it away, and then it's ready to be planted again.